Hey guys, CC Tilt here, bringing you the CCC Hyper Helper, which is a tool I've developed to increase your edge and hyper turbo head subsidence goals. I oftentimes see people struggle with race calling ranges, especially when stacks get shallow or when they're facing an aggressive opponent. And another common problem I see is the lack of understanding which hands are actually good to 3 by jam against the wide opening range and which hands are better flattered. For example, if I see somebody 3 by jamming queen 10 suited for 25 big blinds against my min raise without having any real reads besides that I open raised a few buttons, that tells me that this person is probably missing some key points here on how to construct good ranges in the big blind. So what can the CCC Hyper Helper do for you? Let's take a look at the right side first, which is the small blind part of the tool. Here you see a table which shows you what hands you can raise call against different 3 by shoving ranges. So in this example we have set the parameters to 25 big blinds and a top percent 3 betting range. So against for example a top 20% shoving range you can raise call the dark green hands right here. But most opponents don't 3 bet shove their premium hands, especially deep stack, as they're rather 3 betting non all in or flat with those hands. So what you can do is you can change the 3 bet range right here um, to top percent excluding 10s plus. You can use the drop down menu or you can use the buttons on the right. And then as you can see you get looser um, race calling ranges. So readless or against like a 20% shoving range for 25 big blinds, we would call ace 8 off and better, any pocket pair, a 7 suited and better and king queen suited, which doesn't show at the moment. If we look at this range now, we see that it's definitely better than the one we had before against the top range, but if we get shallow, especially um, 13 uh, big blinds and below, I would recommend to switch to the top range again. Um, as more people are just jamming their good hands over our min race. So when looking at this table now you can easily see how you should um, adjust against wider 3 betting ranges. So let's say your opponent is 3 betting um, 30%, you look for the orange marked hands and then you can see um, that you can call ace 5 often better, uh, king 10 often better and so on. These ranges are always available for 20 to 45% um, 3 bet and 5% steps and for all relevant stack sizes. Here it shows 25, 20, 16, 13, 12, 11 and 10 big blinds. Um, as the equity jumps are bigger with shallow stacks, um, meaning that you have to adjust your race calling ranges more frequently. So here again, you can just use the drop down menu to change it um, or you can use the plus and minus buttons on the right. Um, and of course, for every stack size, um, the top percent and the top percent excluding 10 plus range is um, always available. Okay, so that was the small blind part of the tool. Now let's take a look at the left side, which is the big blind part. Here I was asking myself the question, which hands should be really jammed against different opponents and which hands are better flattered. So what I did first was, I checked the flatting expectations in my database for all hands for different stack size and I also checked the expectation of 3 bet shoving those hands against different race calling ranges, which you can see here. Here you can choose between a standard calling range, a loose one and a very loose one, which is always displayed right here. What I came up with was a game plan for 25, 20 and 16 big blinds and I combined 13 to 10 big blinds because of two small sample sizes. So let's take a look at the table. The first four colors, which represent fold, flat, 3 bet non all in and 3 bet shove, um, are my recommendations for readless play. If you have specific reads, it is definitely a good idea to differ from those ranges. So for example, I wouldn't 3 bet non all in with 10 to suited against someone who is rarely open racing, or I usually don't 3 bet shove um, my strong ace x hands against the rack. Um, but the more interesting part are the green, orange and red ranges which represent hands which should be either flatted or jammed depending on your opponent's racing percentage um, and his race calling range. So in this example for 25 big blinds against the standard race calling range, we would jam the orange um, range against someone who is opening around 70% and if he's open racing 85% or more, we would also add the red marked hands to our 3 bet shoving range. On the other hand, if our opponent is only raising 60% or less, those hands would become a flat then. Interesting to note here is that of course you could also jam more hands, 
but what I did was I compared the expectation from flatting versus jamming and constructed the ranges in a way which maximized the expectation of our overall strategy. For example, if we would also jam all our strong hands, your opponent will usually adjust very quickly, which, it, which, which reduces the EV of jamming the weaker hands, and also your flatting range would become pretty weak, which can also be exploited quite easily. So what I wanted to accomplish um, was, is, was to build 3 bet shoving ranges which show very good expectations while keeping the flatting ranges strong and balanced. Also those 3 bet shoving ranges I came up with are rarely ever minus EV. So in our example, let's say we assume Willen is raising 70% and calls with a standard range. Even if he's um, raising less hands or he's raised calling wider um, than we expected him to call, only few hands actually show um, a slightly negative expectation. Like 9 for suited, um, for example, would be a few chips minus EV, but most of the hands are still um, break even or better. And if you see your opponent raise calling, for example, with King 10 offsuit for 25 big blinds, then you can just use a loser uh, raise calling range and you instantly get a whole new game plan. So if you're not totally happy with your preflop game, I'm sure this tool can help you with that. I think the CC Hyper Helper really shines, especially with shorter stacks, as I see a lot of people struggling with their preflop game around the 16 to 10 big blind area, but also deep stacked is a very useful tool to have in your arsenal.